This conference will now be re this conference will now be recorded. Uh, see here, uh, when I right click on the applications and uh, run as a run on server, then it will open this link, right? And here we need to every time we need to type the login, which one is our first page? This is a login dot JSP. Okay. So uh, we need to type the login dot JSP, then it will open the log uh, login dot JSP. So that's the reason why we uh, write our first page name is index dot JSP. It will automatically find out. So every time when we develop any website, any web application, then our first page name should be index, index.jsp, right? If page name is index.jsp, then it will automatically open. So in the domain uh, facebook.com, gmail.com, we didn't mention the uh, name of the page after the .com slash particular page name, okay? because its name is index, by default name is index.php or .net, okay? then ASP or HTML. So it will automatically see here page is not name is not coming here after the application name. So by default, it will consider as an index page. Either it's it looking for either JSP, HTML. Uh, if you developing the website in PHP, then PHP index.php, then index.asp.net. So this type of page. So by default, page name should be index. So it will automatically search that page name. So I have changed the name uh, from login.jsp to uh, index.jsp from the login.jsp. So I need to uh, perform some changes in other files also because we have already mentioned in login sublet.java. After invalid login, uh, it should redirect to index.jsp now. And in the logout.sublet so log also we need to Change the name index. Fine. So now uh, today's session we are going to learn some how to implement security here. So if I log in with admin one two three four five here. Okay. So if I click on one second. If I click on logout button, then uh, it's coming in the login page. But if I uh, press, uh, if I directly open, see, first of all, I am doing the login. After that, I copy this URL, right? Uh, this is the admin home.jsp and logout. I am clicking on the logout button. If I, after the logout, if I directly open that page, admin home.jsp, then it will easily open. Okay. And a user can, uh, without login, I can accessing the internal page and I can perform all the operation. I can update, delete the record. I can create the employee account. Okay. So I didn't log in. That's why here null mess, null is coming because uh, it's trying to fetch the values from session and we didn't log in. That's why session is not started. But session is not started. But still we are fetching the values from session and unable to find out the values. That's why giving the null here. Okay. So how we can protecting uh, we can't directly accessing the page without the login okay so obviously uh, if directly i accessing this internal page then it will uh, face the session values and it return the null right so i can put only single condition here if value equals to null then it should redirect to the index page right so in all the internal page we need to put one in uh, if condition is there obviously null value is only coming uh, when user try to accessing internal page without login okay so null value it will return uh, session dot get attribute method returning the null value here so i uh, every pages after the login we should put one condition is there on admin home page admin home dot jsp here this uh, session dot get attribute enable to find out uid in the session then it will return the value uh, null and displaying the value so here i'm putting one simple condition is there if value equals to equals to null if value equals to equals to null then it should redirect to the response or send redirect index dot jsp
so this if condition we need to put each and every pages after the login so admin home there then employee.jsp page is there to create the employee account here we need to put the condition and a view view.jsp each and every pages after the login so obviously we are following mbc architecture so we i didn't need to find out where we need to put the condition all the views which is coming after the login i am simply opening that page and just putting this condition okay here it doesn't report so i have put this condition at admin home then create employee account and view employee account three places now again i am executing this code so admin one two three four five login now i am copying this url and log out and then pasting the same internal page url when i press enter key still some problem one second Yes, admin one two three four five logged in then copy the url log out see when i pasting this url admin home and when i place the enter key then it automatically redirect to the index.jsp page here because it's finding the null values and uh, if uh, we have put one condition if null is there then it should redirect to the login page so here if i put any uh, view.jsp also because we have put the condition here also so we were if i are trying to use view.jsp null pointer exception once On the hyperlink is view servlet is there, view employees there, and if I click on uh, execute the view employee dot servlet, then it will direct the index page. So that if condition we need to put each and every pages. So one uh, problem is resolved. We can't directly access the internal pages. Now the second problem is with this code is that uh, if I logged in successfully and if I click logout button. See here, uh, I'm coming in the view all employee first. Then right now within we are in the session. That's why no problem. We can access each and every pages. But uh, see here, this is a view employee page, right? And if I click logout from here, right? And if I press the back button of web browser, then this page is coming. 
okay so after successfully login if anybody uh, press the back button then that internal page should not be open okay so from where this page is coming okay so see this is our html page right this is the portion of html body page so if i click here at this place Okay, so it send the request to the server and that page is coming from the server, but this back button is not uh, related to our applications, right? It's a software web browser is a software and this back button related to web browser software. So when I uh, press the back button of web browser, then obviously one page is coming and this page is not coming from the server. This page is coming from the web browser. So every time when we accessing any website, then one by one each and every pages web browser uh, internally store the cache uh, inter copies of each and every pages in the their cache memory right and if i place the back button here then that page is coming from the cache memory of web browser it's not coming from the server so uh, we need to write some code uh, that when that code is executed then it will clear the all cache memory from the web browser okay so obviously uh, if our code is executed successfully then it cleared the cache memory and if i place the back button then it unable to find that copy of the page in the web browser cache memory and it unable to open the page so that is the solution for that so how we can protecting uh, the copy of this page from in the web browser cache memory so for that purpose we need to write some three lines of code in each and every views okay so what is that code so I'm writing the three lines of code on each and every pages. We can write it, uh, put that code at any place. Doesn't matter. So here script text there. Response is also our implicit object, just like a request and a session and out response also. See here response also inbuilt object here. So using the response object, I'm calling one method uh, response.add header. So that web browser memory is known as pragma memory pragma and i am setting the values no cache pragma no cache and cache control no store cache control no store and expire zero So three values I am setting. A uh, first value uh, related to pragma, second one cache control, third one expire. Pragma is a memory name is there, so I am setting the value no cache, so it will not going to uh, make uh, create any cache memory. Cache control if no store means if cache is created. Suppose if cache is already created, then it should not going to store any values. And expire if cache is created, then it automatically expire after zero millisecond. Means it never store the cache memory. So these three lines of code we need to write each and every pages here also employ okay we are including the contain in the head uh, of head.jsp so if i put the contain on head.jsp then it will automatically uh, inherited by all the jsp pages okay all the pages uh, inheriting this head.jsp so i only need to put on head.jsp not all on the logout page also we need to write these three lines of code see if i write the code after the response or send react then it will never execute it because this send response or send react automatically divert the execution to the another page so this line will not be executed after the send react method so every time we need to put the lines before the response or send react okay now let's executing this admin one two three four five see i'm logged in now and log out and if i place the back button now see it's not going inside once again if i successfully log in and this is a view all employee accounts see here it's a login successfully now if i 
with the logout button then back button is there not it's not coming previously it's coming inside so this is the way we can protecting uh, the back button of web browser so it unable to because we have write the code for clearing the cache every time when page is loaded all the pages loaded it automatically deleted the copy of that page from the cache memory and if i press the back button then obviously cache memory is not working it unable to find the page copy in the cache memory and unable to open that page so we have gone through two concept of security first one how to clear the cache memory of web browser and how to protecting direct interaction of the internal pages so for that purpose we have simply write the if condition is there is that clear madhavi yes madhavi okay so this is all about uh, mvc architecture cloud operation and security implementation okay so uh, next topic we will start from tomorrow uh, i will going to start uh, ajax jquery okay how we mm -hmm. can use ajax and jquery in the same models okay, okay. and uh, so our next topic so will be uh, ajax jquery and after ajax jquery we will start angular js mm -hmm. okay and angular js and after that angular js uh, we will uh, learn the framework j2e framework spring hibernate mm -hmm. sure okay. That was our that were our last topic. Okay. Uh -huh. So, Shafir, we will continue back tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.